Hello there, this is Welsh ASMR 82. Hey, how are you doing? Um, today I'm going to do um, some facts about Africa. I'm going to start off with this article on fee.org 25 fascinating facts about Africa. And then we'll move over to africa facts.org and we'll look at some of the flags. Something right at the end of the video that I want, I'm really looking forward to, is looking at the population of the countries in order from smallest to largest, including their capital city. That's going to be quite exciting, so stay tuned at the end for that. Okay, so 25 fascinating facts about Africa. Um, it's a little gift one at the top. I've seen it later on as well. Africa is over 25% of the world's bird species. I love that photo. How gorgeous is it? Do you say zebra or zebra? I say zebra. Okay, by Joe Carter. So thanks to Joe for this lovely article. Um, May 25th is Africa Day, and that's coming up in just over a month's time. A holiday originally created to celebrate the foundation of the Organization of African Unity on May 25th, 1963. Here are 25 facts you should know about the continent. The continent was has 54 independent states and one non-self-governing territory, which is Western Sahara, which is currently being claimed by a couple of other countries, including Morocco. Number two, before colonial rule, Africa comprised up to 10,000 different states and autonomous groups with distinct languages and customs. Imagine 10,000 countries. The most common language spoken on the continent is Arabic, spoken by 170 million people, followed in popularity by English, 130 million, Swahili, 100 million, French, 115, Berber, 50 million, Hausa, 50 million, Portuguese, 20, and Spanish, 10. It seems that they, hmm, I'm just wondering about a couple of others, right? They're more than, Spanish is named there, but it's, you know, I think Somali, Amharic. Uh, Igbo, Twi, probably have more than 10 million speakers each. Uh, maybe Nosa and Zulu, Afrikaans. Uh, over 25% of all languages are spoken only in Africa, with over 2,000 recognized languages spoken on the continent. In 2034, Africa is expected to have the world's largest working age population of 1.1 billion. That's number five. Number six. Between 2000 and 2010, the continent achieved average real annual GDP growth of 5.4%, adding $78 billion annually to GDP. But growth slowed to 3.3% a year between 2010 and 2015. About, number seven, about all over three quarters of African countries are still ranked in the bottom half for the per capita GDP ranking worldwide. Over 20 African countries have a power purchasing parity, GDP of less than $2,000 per capita. Another, have ten, another 10 have a GDP per capita PPP between 2000 and 3000 I don't really know what that means. <laughs> Um, number eight, the continent's richest country is Equatorial Guinea, with over $33,000 of GDP per capita. This puts the country comparable to Spain. Hmm, interesting. Is it an oil-rich area? Number nine, Africa is the world's hottest continent and the second driest after Australia, although it is nearly four times the size of Europe. It has a shorter overall coastline because of its straighter shores. 
you can thank Norway for winning it for Europe. The coast of Norway, if you... Um, I've said this before, I read somewhere. If you had all of its nooks and crags and very rugged coast coastline and fjords straightened out, it would be um, nearly as big as Canada, or bigger than... I think Canada's number one and Norway's number two. Okay. Number ten. Because of high fertility rates and rising numbers of women in of reproductive age, the continent is expected over the next 35 years to have nearly 2 billion babies. This will double the size of the population, and its under-18 population will increase by two-thirds to almost a billion children. Number 11. In sub-Saharan Africa, more than one-third of adults cannot read and write. Number 12. An estimated 25.5 million people living with HIV live in sub-Saharan Africa. 13. Almost half of the gold ever mined on Earth has come from a single place, Fitfartesrand, Fitfartesrand, South Africa. 14. Africa's urbanization rate is about 37%, comparable to China's and larger than India's. It's expected to be the fastest urbanizing region from 2020 to 2015. Number 15. Since the Cold War ended, the number of armed conflicts on the continent has fallen from more than 30 to about a dozen. Number 16. Between 2000 and 2015, the estimated number of malaria cases in Africa declined by 88% while malaria death rates declined by 90%. This is a result of the scale-up of use of insecticide-treated nets, indoor residual spraying, intermittent preventative treatment during pregnancy, and artemisinin-based combination therapy. Despite the improvement, malaria remains a major killer of children, particularly in sub-Saharan Africa, taking the life of a child every two minutes. Number 17. The deadliest war since World War II occurred in Africa. The Second Congo War, 1998-2003, to caused 5.4 million deaths. 18. Household air pollution causes around half a million premature deaths annually in sub-Saharan Africa, where four-fifths of the population rely on the traditional use of solid biomass for cooking, and candles and kerosene lamps are extensively used for indoor lighting. Number 19. Africa has eight of the eleven major biomes, and the largest remaining populations of lion, elephant, rhinoceros, cheetah, hyena, leopard, and hundreds of other species. Megafauna, like giraffe, zebra, gorilla, hippopotamus, chimpanzee, and wildebeest, are unique to the continent. I've never heard megafauna used before, but obviously I understand what it means. 21. Africa has over 25% of the world's bird species. 22. The majority of Africans are adherents of Christianity or Islam. 23. While those who identify as practitioners of traditional African religions are often in the minority, many who identify as Muslim or Christian are involved in traditional religions to one degree or another. 24. Agriculture employs 65% of Africa's labour force and accounts for 32% of gross domestic product. 25. Africa is bigger than China, India, the continental US, 
and most of Europe combined. The Sahara alone is bigger than the continental USA. If you look back at a video I did a while back um, on the true size of each country, you'll see that absolutely for sure. Okay, thank you, fee.org. Let's go over to africa-facts.org. You can check these websites out yourself. Um, one thing I always notice with the African flags is just how colourful they all are. Um, they've split them into several areas, Eastern Africa, Central, Southern, Western and Northern. We've done a couple of flag videos where I try to learn them all. So again, look back through my videos and check those out. I had a bit of a shock when I looked at this earlier on. I saw the British flag, but of course it's uh, an overseas territory, as is Réunion and Mayotte for France. Uh, and there was one more somewhere. I can't see it now. So... You've got, oh yeah, because of Spain, but they've actually got their own flags, and Madeira, Portugal's got its own flag. So North Africa, Algeria, Canary Islands, Ceuta, Egypt, Libya, Madeira, Melilla, Morocco, Sudan, and Tunisia. If you don't know what Ceuta and Melilla are, you can have a little look for those on Wikipedia. They are two... Um, areas in on the coast of Morocco that currently belong to Spain. Canary, the Canary Islands and Madeira are both islands, of course. Um, so then you've got East Africa, Burundi, Comoros, Comoros are islands. Djibouti, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Kenya, Madagascar is an island, one of the biggest in the world. Malawi, Mayotte, again an island, Mozambique, Réunion, an island, Rwanda, Seychelles, islands, Somalia, South Sudan, Tanzania, Uganda, Zambia, Zimbabwe. Seychelles probably wins with the coolest flag. Ethiopia is also pretty awesome. I like Eritrea, Comoros. Uganda is pretty cool as well. Central Africa, Angola, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Chad, my favourite country in the world, <laughs> the coolest name, Republic of Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo, I often call it Dr. Congo for short, because it's often written DR Congo, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, Sao Tome Principi, that's an island isn't it, Botswana, Lesotho, pronounced Lesotho, not Lesotho, I used to pronounce it for years. Namibia, South Africa, Swaziland. Swaziland is pretty cool and flags as well, isn't it? Benin in Western Africa, Burkina Faso, Cape Verde. Cabo Verde is an island as well, right? Cote d'Ivoire, Gambia, Ghana, Guinea, Guinea Bissau, Liberia, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, Nigeria, St. Helena is an island. Senegal, Sierra Leone, Togo. Um, the total number of independent states in Africa is 54. The transcontinental country in this region is Egypt, having also a small part of its territory in Asia, on the other side of the Suez Canal, but politically it is a member of the African Union. That's, that's a curious case because in football, I was thinking about this, I always think about football. In football terms, that means that Egypt can qualify to switch to the Asian group, which, frankly, they would qualify quite easily, I think. They are much, much stronger than a huge majority of countries. Maybe not Iran, Saudi Arabia, Japan, Korea, Australia, they'd probably be about... I think they'd be better than Australia, I'm not sure. Maybe. Because um, that's happened in Europe, with Kazakhstan having a small 
portion of its country over the eastern side of the Ural Mountains and therefore qualifying um, for, for European qualification rather than Asian. Um, among the African countries, the biggest one is Algeria, occupying around 7% of the con continent's territory. The smallest is the Seychelles, famous luxurious beach holiday destination, occupying 115 islands. This shocked me, and I've read it in two places now, so it's definitely true. Morocco is first for receiving tourists in Africa. Second place is South Africa, then Egypt, then Tunisia. I assumed Egypt would be number one because of the pyramids, but I was wrong. Okay, let's take a look then at this chart. So number one, so number one as in the smallest, is the Seychelles with 94,000, Victoria's capital with 25,000. So over a quarter of its population live in its capital city. Sao Tome e Principe, 194,000, Sao Tome, 43. Cabo Verde, Cape Verde, 511,000 inhabitants. Praia is its capital, literally means beach in Portuguese. 62,000. Equatorial Guinea, 685,000. Its capital, Malabo, 35,000. Is Equatorial Guinea the one that's got both? So there's a part of it on the, the mainland, and then an island, and the capital's actually on the island part? got a strange structure. Comoros, 743,000. Moroni, 19,000. Djibouti, 918,000. I didn't realise the capital of Djibouti is Djibouti City, 62,000. Swaziland, 1,077,000. Mbabane, 41,000. Mauritius, 1,273,000. Port Louis, 145,000. Guinea Bissau, 1,699,000. Bissau, 120,000. Gambia, 1,794,000. Banjul, its capital, 52,000. Lesotho, 1.8 million. Maseru, 14,000. That's very small. Is that small? It's like the smallest. Hmm. Curious. Botswana, 2.96 million. Koporone, 140,000. I didn't realize that was the capital either. Namibia, 2.1 million. Vindhuk, 148,000. Namibia, one of the most sparsely populated countries in the world. Very large land mass, but only 2.1 million, million living there. Gabon, 2.2 million. Libreville, 57,000. Mauritania, massive country, but 3.4 million only. Nuakchot, 135,000. Liberia, 3.8 million. Monrovia, 430,000. Republic of the Congo, 4.5 million. Brazzaville, 620,000. Eritrea, 4.9 million. Asmara, or oh, Asmara, 360,000. Central African Republic, 5.2 million. Bangui, 480,000 people. Sierra Leone, 5.8 million. Freetown, 48,000. Libya, 6.3 million. Tripoli, 570,000. Now we're getting much bigger, that's a huge. And now it drops again. Togo, 6.6 .6 million. Lome, 160,000. Burundi, 9 million. Bunjumbura, 
240,000 people. Somalia, 9.6 million. Mogadishu has 260,000. Republic of Benin, 9.7 million. Porto Novo, 185,000. South Sudan, 10.3 million. Juba, 250,000. Rwanda, 10.7 million. Kigali, 118,000. Tunisia, 10.8 million. Tunis, 620,000. Guinea, 11.8 million. Conakry, 770,000 people. That is a big capital. Is that bigger than Tripoli? Yes, it is. Chad, 12.9 million. Njamina, 190,000. So a smaller capital, really, than the others around it. Zimbabwe, 13 million. Harare, 1.2 million. So it's our biggest so far. Senegal, 13.5 million. Dakar, 100, only 165,000. So that's smaller than Swansea, where I grew up in Wales, which isn't even the capital of Wales, the second city of a country with 3 million people. Swansea's got about 200,000 people. So that's my point of reference. Zambia, 14.1 million. Lusaka, 1 million. Malawi, 15.3 million. Lilongwe, 250,000. Mali, 16.6 million. Bamako, 700,000 people. Niger Republic, 16.8 million. Niamey, 250,000. Burkina Faso, 17.3 million. Ouagadougou, 650,000. Coolest capital ever. Angola, 21.2 million. Luanda, 470,000. Cameroon, 21.3 million. Yaoundé, 660,000. Madagascar, 21.8 million. I didn't realise it was that big. Antanarivo, 370,000. Ivory Coast, 24.2 million. Yamusukru, 110,000. Again, small capital. Yamusukru, Yamusukru. Mozambique, 24.4 million. Maputo, 900,000. Yeah, um, so that. Mozambique is, has a larger Portuguese-speaking population than Portugal. <laughs> I mean, obviously Brazil beats it hands down, but there's only about 5 million people in Portugal. What's the other Portuguese-speaking country up here? Oh, it's far away. I can't even remember where we were. Okay. Uh, where were we? Ghana. 26.4 million. Accra, 600,000. Morocco, 32.9 million. Rabat, 1.2 million. Is that a bigger so far? Yeah. 1.230,000. Well, 1, Sudan, 35.1 million. Khartoum, 930,000. Uganda, 35.3 million. Kampala, 330,000. Algeria, 38.2 million. Algeria's 1.6, that's now our biggest. So Algeria is the biggest in land mass, remember, 7% of the whole continent. Kenya, 43.2 million. Nairobi, 1.2 million. Tanzania, 45.9 million. Dar es Salaam, 110 million. Excuse me, <laughs> 110 million. <laughs> 1 million, 100,000. 1.1 million. South Africa, 53 million. Cape Town, 1.6 million. Democratic Republic of the Congo, 70... Wow, we've shot up now. 74.6 million. I did not know that. That's, like, bigger than France. Kinshasa, 2.8 million. That is insane. That's by far the biggest so far. Oh, gosh, look at the next one. We have a winner. Egypt, 84.6 million. Cairo, 6.8 million. I didn't 
did a video for my Arabic channel and we looked at New Cairo. They're building a new capital city because Cairo is full. I can see why. That has more than twice the population of my entire country. <laughs> Ethiopia, 86.5 million. Addis Ababa, 2.4 million. And this is a crazy one. Nigeria. 177 million people, but Abuja has only got 300,000 people in it. What's that about? It's one of the smaller capitals. 177 million, that is insane. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you're new, click subscribe at the top right here. Click like for me, drop me a comment. Tell me if you were surprised about any of the facts that we found out today. I'll leave a nice little video of you in the middle for you. If you're still not asleep, I hope you are.